In this video, we will look at how to use Excel's Solver tool to find the best value for the parameter k in our model uh, to describe the concentration of uh, the drugs um, over time. So uh, going back to the example, we have all the um, data points. Let us call, call each data point SI bar. And then uh, if we take the difference and uh, between SI bar and the corresponding uh, model value SI, square it and, for, and sum up all the values and then take the square root and divide by n like we said earlier on, uh, that gives us uh, a sense of the average error which we denote by capital E. So this is the uh, average error E that we would want to minimize by changing the values of uh, K. Uh, when we find a suitable value of k that minimizes this uh, e and uh, we can stop and that would be the uh, value of k that we will accept as the best parameter value. So using Excel we can set up a, a, a worksheet such as this as shown here. So we have a, a column of t, a column of x uh, and those are the data uh, points, the x value there. And here uh, we set up our k value. For the time being, we do not know what is the best value, so let us assume that we choose a value, say 0 0.1. Now, then in this column, we're going to type in the formula for the um, model, which in this case, we type in equals uh, 100 times the exponential of negative kt. But k, in this case, the value is stored in the cell C1. Now because later on we are going to have to copy the contents of this cell and fill it down, uh, we would uh, want to let the uh, address C1 remain as it is when we copy down. So in order to do that, we fix the uh, address by calling it dollar sign $C$ dollar sign $1 or alternatively, uh, we just hit F4 and you find that C1 becomes dollar sign $C$ dollar uh, sign $1 and then we multiply that by uh, the corresponding t value okay hit return and this is the uh, value you get uh, for the model and we then copy it down okay so at the moment given this value of k you find that um, the model as shown here by the um, red line on the graph uh, doesn't look very good it doesn't uh, fit the data points very well so we will need to change or vary the value of k in order to find the best fit. So to do that, first of all, uh, we take the difference between the data value and the model value and square uh, the difference. And we copy this uh, formula down so that we have all the individual uh, differences. And over here in this cell D13, we uh, sum up all these uh, differences. So this cell D13 contains um, the sum of the squares of the difference uh, between the uh, data point and the corresponding model value. And the um, average error is defined as the square root of uh, this sum divided by the total number of items. In this case, there are nine of them. So at the moment, the uh, error is 11.858 is pretty big so we want to reduce that as close to zero as possible so to do that we use the data uh, uh, sorry the solver tool under the data tab so we click on data go to solver all right here um, I have already uh, set it up that the target cell in this case is D15 because that's the target that's the the value uh, at this address that we want to or in this cell that we want to minimize so equal to minimum so by default it is maximum uh, the, the the button for maximum is um, chosen so we have to choose it to minimum on your system it may be maximum or minimum but we choose it to be minimum because we want to minimize this particular um, uh, value by changing what by changing the cell uh, the value of a uh, cell c1 Okay, which is this one here. So once this is set up, we click soft. And you can see if I move this window over here, 
you can see now uh, the value of k has changed to 0 0.12 something something and uh, we get uh, uh, the result of the model which is pretty good which is quite close to the uh, uh, data points so we will want to keep this all right and so this is how we can make use of the solver tool to help us find uh, the best value of the unknown parameters in the model